Hello, my name is Jonathan Young, and I'm going to explain how to do the wall squat. Today we're at Jesse Ardami's gym. He's one of our instructors at Bryan University. And the reason why I would like to demonstrate the wall squat first is because it is a basic or an advanced basic exercise that almost all of your clients can do. Now, with your wall squats, your major muscle groups are going to be your, your glutes, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, a little bit of your calves. To be more specific, you have your gluteus maximus, you have your hamstring muscles, which is your semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris. You have your quadriceps, which is vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, um, vastus intermedius, and you have your gastrocnemius for your calf. Now with the wall squat, Okay, you want to position the stability ball at the small of your back right here. And the idea, the key idea behind the wall squat is that you're able to lean back into the wall. What this does is this helps compensate for the fact that many people like to lean forward when they do the squat. If you put somebody up against the wall to do a squat, you'll find that a lot of, a lot of your clients will have a hard time staying upright. They'll want to lean forward or into, into the wall. And when you're trying to maximize or isolate your gluteus maximus in an exercise, it's all about hip extension right here. You want to get as much hip extension with this femur as possible. Okay, And you don't want to be leaning on your toes too much. And so the wall squat is really good because it's, it's an exercise that most people can do to isolate the gluteus maximus, even though they might not be technically uh, proficient at doing a regular squat. So the stability ball is at the small of my back. I'm actually going to lean into that stability, wall, st stability ball. My feet are hip width apart. Okay? You'll notice my feet, there's a slight pitch, just a slight pitch out, outwards, which is a little bit easier on my knees if my feet are pitched out just slightly. And I'm going to go down to about parallel with my thigh. If I'm brand new at doing this, I'm just going to go a little bit down to where my thighs are parallel with the floor. And you want to take a look at your client to see how they feel doing that mobility. If they're very brand new and they feel a little bit, you know, concerned about this type of motion, you could put a chair underneath them. Okay. But also keep in mind the best way to get the glute workout is to get full range of motion. And so if clients are a little bit more familiar with doing this wall squat after a while, have them go a little bit deeper. The deeper you go, the more you're going to be able to isolate that gluteus maximus. For me, I like to touch my fingers to the floor. Okay? Now if you want to make it more challenging, you can do it one leg. That's going to be more challenging for a lot of people. And that is the wall squat. I'm going to go over the correct technique for the walking lunge. Posture is important with the walking lunge. You want your shoulders back, chest out. I tell my clients, I like to tell my clients to take a monster step because that helps isolate gluteus maximus. This is, this is really a, a dominant exercise for your gluteus maximus. So you take a monster step forward. Notice that my knee is just over top of my heel. While I'm going to be performing this walking lunge, I'm using my front leg to pull myself forward. The only thing I'm using my back leg for is to help keep stability. I'm not going to push off my back leg. I'm going to use my hip extension, my gluteus maximus, with this good range of motion here, and also some of my hamstrings to pull myself forward. As I pull myself forward, I can identify if my technique is correct because it's going to challenge my balance a little bit. Okay? Shoulders are back, chest, uh, chest is out forward, pinching my rhomboids back there. Okay? Shoulder blades are pinching back there. If I want to add extra resistance to this particular exercise, I can use some, some dumbbells. Okay? Again, monster step forward, pulling myself forward. want to get full range of motion for hip extension. Now, if your client finds that they can't quite take that monster step forward, 
have them take a smaller step forward and extend their rear leg backwards a little bit to get into that position where the knee is over top of the heel. So that is the walking lunge. The correct technique for doing the barbell squat, I'm going to go ahead and position my hands on the knurling of the bar, which is the rough grip part of the bar. I like to have my hands positioned just outside of my shoulders. With that close hand positioning and my elbows down, I'm going to position or rack the bar on my trapezius, not my neck. Okay? This is called the Olympic grip or Olympic position for the barbell squat. Notice my elbows are down, my hands are in close, my feet are hip width apart. Okay. You can also pitch your feet out just a little bit. Pitch is where I'm taking my toes out away from the midline of the body. You can pitch your feet out just a little bit. Chest is out. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. As I go down, I want to start with my hips as if I was about to sit down in a chair. My chest is up and my back is straight. Looking forward, you can go down to parallel where your hips are parallel or you can do a full squat where you're going all the way down to the ground without tucking your hips under. Make sure your knees are tracking straight forward not to the left or to the right. Barbell squat. So right now we are demonstrating the split squat. I will be using a body bar. Um, it's a light 10 pound bar. You can use a dumbbells. You can use a um, Olympic bar as Jonathan showed in the squats. For the split squat, you want to have your feet spread apart um, nice and even. Both toes are facing straight. Your chest will be up, shoulders tight, chin up. You don't want to be leaning over your knee. Your knee is directly over your heel. Both toes straight. And you're going to start as high as you can. You're going to lower your back leg straight down to the ground, right above the ground, and come straight back up. Straight down, straight back up. What you don't want to do is lean forward with that forward knee and come down and up. Good posture, straight down with the back knee, straight up. Split squat. 